In this video, you will learn about propositional logic. Propositional logic is a type of deductive logic. Logic is a branch of philosophy that looks at the form of arguments and not their content. What makes a logic deductive is that the evidence makes the conclusion definitely true whenever the evidence is true. Mathematical arguments are deductive. Another type of argument that's not deductive are inductive arguments. Inductive arguments make the conclusion more likely true, but not definitely true. This is generally the case in science. There are many different types of logic. This is called propositional logic because the variables are for propositions. Another word for propositions are statements. Statements are sentences which are either true or false. Unlike some other logics, which deal with categories of things or things, this one replaces sentences with variables. For example, the sentence, monkeys like bananas, we can give the variable m. The sentence, tomorrow is Wednesday, we can call t. And the sentence, 2 plus 2 equals 4, can be written as x. The reason why we bother with this sort of logic is, amongst other things, to turn language into a type of math. Also, it allows us to identify the parts of language which determine what is true or false. The point is to come up with a math about determining true or false arguments. Also, it's a re reliable way of identifying good arguments. One of the important standards for converting language into formal logic is that it should match the sentence. So, since variables are the most basic thing in the logical form, we want those to stand for simple sentences. For more complicated sentences, we'll combine simple sentences using what are called connectives. The connectives connect simple statements, and the four connectives are not, and, or, and then the fourth one is if, then. For example, if the variable t stands for the statement, today is Tuesday, then not t means today is not Tuesday. Notice how much shorter the formal statement is than the full English sentence. Another way to write that is, it isn't true that today is Tuesday. That's a more literal way of writing, today is not Tuesday. You can also write, it is not the case that today is Tuesday. All of these have the same logical form all of them are denying that today is Tuesday. Here's another example. If the variable m stands for the statement, I'll have mustard on my sandwich, and the variable k stands for I'll have ketchup on my sandwich, then the more complex statement k and m is the more complex statement, I'll have ketchup and mustard on my sandwich. Notice that in the logical version, we have the word and, and in the more complex sentence, we have the word and. Another way to write this is, it is true that I'll have ketchup on my sandwich, and I'll have mustard on my sandwich. The first phrase, it is true that, indicates that everything follows is true, and again, they're separated by the word and.
Notice how much shorter the logical version is, k and m. Here are some more examples. The third connective is or. K or M would stand for I'll have ketchup or mustard on my sandwich. The fourth connective is if then. If T then M. If today is Tuesday, then I'll have mustard on my sandwich. In the top example, K or M, Notice that both the logical version and the full version have the word or. In the lower example, if t then m, the if shows up before the sentence today is Tuesday, and then the other word then shows up before m, which stands for I'll have mustard on my sandwich. Here are some practice questions. Translate each of the following sentences Given that A stands for apples are tasty, B stands for bananas are healthy, C stands for candy is tasty, answer what each of the statements would be like if written out in full. The answers are on the next screen. Pause now and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here are the solutions. Not A would be the statement, apples are not tasty. B or C would be, bananas are healthy or candy is tasty. If A then C becomes, if apples are tasty, then so is candy. Number four, A or C becomes, either apples or candy are tasty. Notice how there are ways of simplifying even the full version where you're saying the same thing about two different subjects. Thank you for watching.